Hello everybody, today we are going to show you how to adjust your kitchen cabinet door hinges. This will allow you to straighten the doors, prevent them from rubbing against each other, and make sure that they fully close. Let's get started. Alright, so how this works is that these are adjusted by turning different screws. So these have a three-way adjustment. So the first screw adjusts the door side to side, as you can see. And if you look close, you can see as I move the screw in and out, the door moves side to side. And this is going to apply to all of the hinges. So one on the bottom, one on the top. And then if it's a, do a double set of doors, then there will also be two more on the other door. And so you kind of have to work with all four hinges for all of these adjustments, actually, to, uh, to get the desired result. So the next adjustment is up and down. So this is just another screw that you turn one way or the other. And again, as you can see, turn it one way, it goes up, turn it the other way, it goes down. And yeah, just pretty, pretty basic. And for your hinges, it might be the, hint, the screws are a little bit of a different spot, but you just gotta take a look at them and see which one does what. Just mess around with it. Just make sure you don't unscrew the screws that are fastening the hinge to the cabinet because uh, that wouldn't end well. So then the third adjustment is in and out. So as you can see, if I turn this screw, again, you're just gonna have to find where it is on the hinges on your cabinet door. And this adjustment is gonna be to make sure that the top and bottom of the door are actually resting against the cabinet when the door closes. So that's the three adjustments that we have. So let's uh, just demonstrate with this door here and see if we can get it straightened out. So first of all, we are going to do the in and out adjustment. So this door, as you can see, is not fully closing. So if I just adjust this, and as you can see, it takes a couple tries. And again, you might need to go to the up, upper hinge and adjust that as well to actually get the desired result. As you can see, if I close this door and push against it, there's no movement, so that's good. Next, we need to adjust the gap between the doors. As you can see, it squishes together up towards the top. You can barely shut the door. So I need to adjust that. And again, you wanna make sure you go to all the hinges involved and just keep adjusting those until you get it about right. It can take some time and yeah, you just wanna make sure to try all the different variations until you get what you want. And then last, we just want to adjust the up and down position of the doors. These ones are looking pretty close, but I'm just gonna adjust them a little bit to make sure that they completely match and there's not one that's higher up than the other one. And that looks good. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and it was useful, give it a like and subscribe and comment down below and tell us what type of videos you would like to see.